What are the major technology trends in 2016? The Accenture Technology Vision Report investigates five key trends and interestingly people are at the heart of those trends. Maria Urgeta is a co-author of the Technology Vision Report and was the keynote speaker at a recent Accenture Switzerland Business Lounge Forum here at the Olympic Museum in Lausanne. Maria, welcome. What are the five key technology trends that you identified in the report? This year we started off looking at intelligent automation. Of course that's going to have an impact on the workforce, so our second trend is on the workforce reimagined. Of course then you're looking at the ecosystem, so we talk about platforms, and then we take two use cases and talk about predictable disruption. Lastly, we summarize with the digital trust concept. Accenture has a core stance that every business is a digital business these days. How can businesses best adapt to this rapid technological shift that you talk about that's currently underway? Yeah, we talk about the digital culture shock, right, because every business is going digital, but that means that change is happening so fast. The differentiator there is that uh, looking at people first this time, right? This is our 10th year in, in development as a technology vision report. And we think that the key differentiator is investing in your people, your partners, your clients, uh, your employees. Mm. In putting people first, what are the four key pillars required to make this cultural shift in order to uh, embrace these technologies and empower employees for the future? Absolutely. We dig into this um, in our Workforce Reimagined uh, quite a bit. We talk about enabling the skills, right? Constant change means that you're constantly retooling your workforce. Then we talk about enabling projects using collaboration tools, cloud-based platforms, and of course the organization needs to adapt. So looking at those three tenants and then looking at your overall people um, are the key pillars. Can you give us an example of a company or an organization who are doing this well? making yeah. this technological shift? Of course, uh, Accenture is my favorite example. So we're 400,000 people today, and you know we have constantly been evolving our people. Um, people are in, allowed to learn new skills, um, virtual training, et cetera, and they can move between projects very well. So our organization is a great model at how you can have uh, all this change going on at once. Where do you think the opportunities are for other companies and, and organizations? A and also, what are some of the challenges along the way? So the opportunities that we talk to our clients about are that organizational shift. Uh, it's important to allow your, your people, your workforce, um, to constantly evolve. And um, we don't know exactly how that unfolds, but that's very important. Um, at the same token, uh, the challenges there are, are, are key, right? Um, you have deep domain expertise, industry expertise, and even though we're shifting from uh, specialist to generalist, as we cite in our report, that doesn't mean that your existing business model is going away. What excites you about all of this? Um, I think there's so much opportunity for our clients. I love speaking to them about what this people first concept means. Let's look forward to 2017. What are some of the tech trends that are already emerging? Take a look into your crystal ball for just a moment. What are we going to be chatting about in 12 months time? Yes, I just spent uh, the last day and a half traveling and on the plane and in my hotel, I was greeted with uh, cover stories about robots. They're everywhere, right? Um, and so what's really exciting is we're seeing the evolution of natural language processing and how you interact with technology. So what I think is coming are more virtual agents. You may have a virtual persona in your office. And you may have one personal. But um, a lot of, you know, we think the technology is finally ready to, to change things, or at least I do. <laughs> and, and second, uh, I think the other exciting thing is that um, we talk a lot about digital trust, security, and privacy. So where's blockchain headed? I think it's finally getting more attention outside of financial services, and we're starting to see the applicability there. So more to come. Look forward to keeping that conversation going. Maria Regetta, who's a thought leader, Accenture Technology Labs, based in Silicon Valley in San Francisco. Thank you for joining us at the Accenture Switzerland Business Lounge Forum. Great to catch up. Thank you. Fantastic to be here. Thank you.